Hey everybody, before you watch this video, I'd like to mention that Friday Parts is doing a promotional harvest time deal. They will be offering their new payment installment plans so that you can scatter out your costly repairs throughout the fall. It will be going from September 1st all the way to October 31st. You will be able to go to their website, get the parts you need, find what you need, and you'll be able to make payments on it. So with that being said, there's also a chance to win a set of these precision screwdrivers while watching this video. Nice little set here. Comes in this nice carrying case. It pops in, oh, I got it backwards. Pops in there, locks in, and it can go right there in your pocket, or if you have a pocket up here, you can put it in. So I'll tell you at the end of the video how three lucky winners will be able to win this from this video. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. So we've got our 621 case wheel loader here in the shop that we use with our grapples to clean up brush. And uh, a couple weeks ago, it developed a problem and it wouldn't stay running while we were using it. Uh, you go to idle, take your foot off the accelerator pedal and it would die when it'd go to idle. So we determined that it had an injector pump issue, which this is a 5.9 Cummins. It's got the VE style injection pump on it, which I wish it had the P pump on it, but a lot of these industrials didn't have the P pump. They had the VE style pump, which is what you find on your older Dodge trucks. So, well, a little different. This is set up as a industrial application, not a road truck application. So I reached out to Friday Parts. Well, actually they had reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try something. And at the time when they reached out, I didn't really need any parts. Well, then this happened. So I decided to email them and ask them if the offer was still on the table. And they said, sure. So they sent me some things. So they sent a hat like they did the last time for the cylinder kit or repair kit that they got for, for me and the tools. They also sent some other things. So we'll unbox them real quick and see what they sent. So I'd already opened the big box just to see what was inside of here. I will give them one thing. They, they package their stuff really nice so it, it can't get out of the, the box and ship it. So this is actually a Deutsch connector kit, electrical connection, that they sent me to try out. And you can buy all this on their website, FridayParts.com. Looks to be a real nice kit. It's all in its own plastic container. And then they sent something else. Sorry, Wilson, I didn't know you're back there. This is the crimp flyer set for the connectors. Yeah. So this is the tool to crimp the connectors. So that'd be handy to have. And they also sent, let's see what we got in here. Well, I got a phone call, so I had to pause the video and take a phone call. So let's see what's in this box. Oh, we got another Frisbee from Friday Parts. And a precision screwdriver kit. So they're always sending gifts when they send parts. So that, that's pretty cool. So thank you, Friday Parts. All right, so we'll get this pump out. We'll have a look at it. Here's our injector pump. Like I said before, very well packaged. It is. 
looks exactly like the one on the loader now. All right, so we'll start taking this one off and uh, get these swapped out and see if it is our issue. Almost has to be our issue. I don't see what else it could be. So let's get it swapped out. Well, in order to get this injector pump off, there is a nut right underneath of it. And with the air compressor in the way, it is a bear to get to that nut. So it's simple enough to take the air compressor off. We already got the lines disconnected. I had to drain the uh, antifreeze down in the engine because the head of the air compressor is cooled by antifreeze. So we got one nut left here to go. And then I'll be able to slide the air compressor out and take it out. And then we will be able to get to the nut on the bottom of that injector pump. I didn't video all this because it's all self-explanatory if you're ever going to do it on a 621. Just got to get all the stuff out of the way that's in the way. It is nice though that the injector pump from Friday Parts has all the brackets on it already for the throttle linkage and all that. They did a good job of getting all that in the right spots. There we go. There's the air compressor. Get it out over here out of the way. So now that that air compressor is out of the way, we can start taking some fuel lines off. And then we'll have to uh, get the pump off. And there's a procedure you got to go through to get the pump off. And we'll go through that when we get to that. So I'm going to take a crow's foot line wrench to get to this fuel line right here that's in behind the front cover and in front of the injector pump. Let's see if we can get that one. Oh, yeah, we got it broke loose. So remember, Wrangler Star said you never need crow's feet. Can't believe anything a guy says that runs around barefooted in industrial applications. Crow's feet are very handy. A tool that you should always keep in your toolbox. Keep a set in my tool truck at all times. They're just good for places you can't get anything else into. Yeah, they're a little awkward sometimes, but they work very well. Especially being a line wrench, it is a little, a little harder to use, but keeps it from slipping on there. Because see, the line wrench goes almost all the way around, but leaves a spot for the line to get through. For those of you who are not familiar with line wrenches. There's that one. We'll get that one off next. Size is. Always also check these banjo fittings to make sure they're not plugged up with anything. Sometimes stuff can get in them and plug them up and cause fuel issues. This one looks clean. Now we can start taking our injector lines off. We'll have to take the injector lines off of the, the injectors also and take them completely out so they're out of the way in order to get this pump out. pry far enough out of the way in order to get that pump out. 
and we don't want to bend them. Because if we bend them, then they won't line up properly, they won't seal properly, it puts tension on them, and it could potentially crack the lines. Alright, I'll finish getting these off, and then we'll get that pump off. Okay, so before we tear anything else apart, we got to get the 5.9 Cummins on top dead center uh, so we can lock it in position. Uh, what we need to do to find top dead center is we need to get our pin to go in here to the corresponding hole on the back side of the cam gear. And we also need to make sure that our valves are loose so that tells us we're in top dead center. So we're going to roll the engine over. And this plug, or pin, or whatever you want to call it, will actually poke into the cam gear and tell us when to stop. Get that. Make sure, make sure you got that good and freed up so it moves. So I'm going to hold pressure on it. And there it was. So that is now poked into the cam gear. Our valves are loose. I actually think I need to... Uh, adjust the valves on this engine that seems a little too loose but that's that's fine for now we'll deal with that later but uh, now everything is locked on top dead center and we can proceed with taking the injector pump the rest of the way off and before I take this injector pump off I'm also going to lock it on top dead center just as simple as taking this out right here Well, you don't take it out, you loosen it. You take this tab out, this tab right here, and then you tighten this back up. When you tighten that up, it actually puts that bolt into the pump shaft and holds the pump on top dead center. Now we can go ahead and remove our nut off the end of our injector pump shaft. You're supposed to put a towel down in the bottom of there so you can't drop the nut down in the timing gear case, but I'm not too worried about it. Set those to the side. And then I have a puller. I actually use this for the pulling truck. So when I adjust the timing on it, I believe it'll work on this one also. There's two threaded holes. One here. And then there's one. Well, I don't know if this puller is going to work on this one. Nope. I'll have to go find a different puller. This is for a P7100 P pump. It's not the same. All right, so I got that pump gear off. I just had to use a just a simple puller that I had and uh, just tighten it up against the shaft and pull the gear right off. You gotta be careful when it pops because if you got your knuckles against this screen right here, it keeps your hands out of the fan. When it pops, it'll go real quick and you'll get your knuckles on that. So now that the gear's off, we can take the pump off. We'll be able to pull the pump out of the front cover. All right, we got the three nuts off to hold the uh, injector pump on. It's out. That's it right there. Well, it is the next day. I got busy doing some other things. I had to unload a load of hay. So now we're back on the loader project here with the Friday parts injector pump. So I've got all new gaskets. I had to have Madison run to uh, the case dealer in Plymouth, Indiana to get these for me because Winamac didn't have them. So this is a pump gasket. I've got the front cover cleaned up. 
we're gonna put that on there we're gonna install it dry because what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get that pump back into the gear and torque it and we need to move that pump ever so slightly for the gear lash in the front case so we'll just leave that with no silicone or anything on it so we got the pump ready right here now I put some white grease on the keyway to help hold it in the groove or the key in the groove so hopefully we'll gently shove it in the gear and that won't come out of there we don't want to lose that down the front cover I think it started. I think it did. Now we'll just draw it on with the nut. So I got my three nuts back on hand tight on the pump. You want it to just uh, float there. You don't want it tight yet. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put the nut and the lock washer back on the pump shaft. And then before we torque that nut, we want to unlock our timing on our engine so that if it does by chance turn, it don't shear our timing pin off. Now we're gonna take a torque wrench and we're gonna do our first torque on the pump to 20 Newton meters. Now that everything is, the backlash is set for the gears and all that, and pump is unlocked, the engine is unlocked, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to set the torque on the nut for 60 foot pounds. go set it 60 foot pounds so now we can start putting everything back together well it's all put back together except this bracket right here I'm gonna wait and make sure it runs before I put all that back in in case I have to tear it back apart but everything should be right so we'll see what happens George is putting the water back in it right now I'm going to prime it a little more and then we'll see what happens so we did find a fuel line that uh, we decided to fix so that's why in the video you'll notice at one point the fuel lines were all off of it because i took them off and inspect them there was a wear spot and it. it wasn't all the way through it wasn't cracked or anything but dad went ahead and brazed it up just to make sure that it didn't become a problem ready yep try it Try it again. Okay, so we got the idle readjusted, the squealing belt taken care of. So dad's gonna start it again. We're gonna make sure it runs wide open. And if it does, it's ready to go back outside and use it. Yeah, go ahead and start it.
after getting everything adjusted, took it out of the shop, took it out back, rooted around with the rake for a little bit, got it warmed up to operating temperature. Everything's good, runs fine, runs smooth. So that Friday parts pump is gonna work out pretty good, I think. So uh, I didn't get too crazy with this video with all the technical stuff on changing this pump out. Uh, if you would like me to sometime, I can do that. I can do a video on uh, working on these Cummins motors. I've got uh, the 5.9 in my pulling truck, got the 5.9 in here, 5.9 in the feller buncher, plus a few other Cummins motors and different trucks around here. So uh, this was more of a video just to uh, showcase the Friday parts parts. It wasn't really meant to be a video to actually show you how to swap this pump out. But you got the idea from the video of how to swap it out. Um, Could have went into a little more detail, I suppose. But anyways, everything runs good. Uh, we're going to uh, go clear out some trees out of a pasture tomorrow for a young man that wants to get into horses. Uh, so we're going to go work on that with this machine. I got the 220 Hyundai excavator over there. We're going to use to actually rip the trees out, and then we'll rake them up with the loader, and we'll put them in the pile. So uh, thank you, Friday Parts. Uh, this part worked out well. There's all the right brackets on it for everything to bolt to, like the throttle. It uh, worked out great. So I really didn't have any issues. Uh, everything went smoothly. So, and Well, I hope everybody enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making this video. So it's very simple. In order to win, your Friday Parts Precision Screwdriver Set. All you have to do is go in the comments below, mention Friday Parts in your comment, share the video, and Friday Parts will be selecting three lucky winners out of the comments below to send them one of these Precision Screwdriver Sets. So thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. We'll see you all in the next one. And thank you, Friday Parts, for this opportunity. Uh, your parts work great. They've been running perfectly fine on the loader. We've used it for about 10 hours now. Trouble-free, no leaks. Works out great. So thank you very much, Friday Parts.